boy do we have a secret for you so the time is here I can finally say I think that our final frost is done and we've been smart this year guys we have not planted any of our garden plants yet because we have learned in the past that you take all this time and you try to grow all these these plants from seeds or you buy them and, and nowadays plants are so expensive and here in Oklahoma and Northeast Oklahoma especially you think you're in the clear for planting plants and then all of a sudden mother nature throws you a curve <laughs> and it snows and it hits 30 degrees and all your plants die that happens to us like every year <laughs> it has happened a lot but we've learned <laughs> the last several years but now don't get me wrong we did plant some of our uh, cold crop stuff like the uh, radishes and lettuce and stuff we got some of that and the onions and potatoes in that stuff don't get, get hurt too bad yes and the kids actually helped us with those kevin will throw up some pictures here yes i did post them on facebook but if you don't follow our facebook i'll i'll add those pictures in but they got their hands in the dirt and <laughs> always good even, learning they do they come out and they get their hands dirty and they enjoy learning so it's always sure. fun to include them but let's talk about this little secret so i, I played a little b-roll and some little footage before um, the video well at the beginning of this video just me tilling up the garden and stuff you can go ahead and set those down you don't need to be uh, my model no more <laughs> just sure? kidding but uh you know everybody tries hard to do their best to grow garden plants and sometimes not everybody has a green thumb you might say right correct it's it's not the easiest just trying to plant your own garden plants you know it takes a lot of learning experience um, you know a lot of our elders knew awesome ways and if you paid attention to some of our grandparents and great-grandparents doing this back in the day they had to do this for a living so they didn't mess up they did it right and uh, did it you know the well, right way their survival depended on it right that's the difference in how our society is today and we're trying to go back to those roots and to to the ways our ancestors live so it's it's a uh, right and with that being said more serious with nowadays. that being said nowadays there's some technology that can kind of help us you know back in the day they didn't i'm talking back in the day they didn't have tillers they didn't have back all this fancy day, tractors and stuff they but, did have tillers but it was by mule right <laughs> and or workhorse they didn't have soil test kits well, I don't know about you guys. If you guys have uh, tried to get your soil tested and stuff, you go down to your local uh, ag agent, like the USDA um, agency in your area or whatever, and you get a little kit that you got to mail in, you got to wait, and it's just kind of a pain. Well, now, let me tell you, if you guys remember a few weeks back, Rachel and I went to Utah, and we went and visited Redmond, the salt company. Well, they have a new product out, and it is a soil test kit. Now this is a game changer. It's gonna be a game changer. We have not used it yet. We've been waiting for this day when we plant our plants and get our garden all tilled up and ready to go. So let me just give you a little history on the um, current government agency soil test kit. In my experience here, um, I did this years ago and I never did get the results back. I think they lost it somehow. Um, so you go get a kit from your local ag agency and you take your soil kit from different parts of your ground whether it be in your pasture or like just your garden area and then you put it in a little paper bag and you send it in you put it in the mail and it takes weeks and weeks and weeks and then they mail you the results back well redmond has simplified that and i don't know another one of these on the market so this is brilliant um, it's going to make make it so much easier for farmers and gardeners because you don't only get results for like your raised garden bed or your in-ground garden bed you can use this on your livestock pasture to see what you need to supplement any field or soil that you want to test you can test right if you want to test a hay meadow to see what you need to do to amend your soil you can test anywhere raised beds in-ground gardens your fields um like kevin said it is a complete game changer because the difference with this product is it is super user friendly yeah so, and we're going to learn this together yeah. like i said i just opened this today and uh, i am very excited so one of the the main things i'm excited about is everything uses technology now and everybody wants everything now online internet has sped things up well once you mail this in it has a little code and you register with their website once you mail it in and they test it as soon as they get it and they test it run it through their lab it has your results instantly 
so I'm gonna do an update video once we get that in and we're gonna see what uh, you know what we're lacking for our raised bed gardens and then we're gonna do another test they're gonna we got some more coming and we're gonna actually test our soil and what we're gonna do is we're gonna analyze those our results soil in our fields yeah our soil in our pastures and what we're gonna do is analyze analyze those results to what a um, like a goat herd would actually need to be um, up to par with nutritional value of like the grass and stuff because I know we're lacking in selenium and copper here yes. but what this will do is they are gonna tell us the test results and then they're we're gonna have an online thing that will tell us exactly what we need to do to amend our soil to where it needs to be and I think you can even go on there and you can tell it hey I'm raising tomato plants what do I need to do to have the best soil for my tomatoes so let me let me let me touch base on you said the results immediately okay this process here is going to be you're going to have the results by the time you mail it in and get it back and get the results it'll be within seven days online they don't mail it back to you so it's going to be instantly online once it'll they be get instantly it online it. but the whole process of this kit is less than seven days right so and i hate um, waiting so that's awesome yes and then another thing that's awesome this actually gives you like a dashboard so you're going to see a dashboard of your results of your soil it's going to tell you everything that you're lacking and what's awesome about this which i really appreciate as somebody who don't want to have to take the time to look up what products i need to amend this part of the soil or that part of the soil it gives you direct links to purchase the products wherever your soil is lacking so you can get direct links to order products that's going to help amend your soil so that's another super user-friendly aspect of this kit. Saves you a lot of time. It is. It's awesome. And then this goes into a dashboard. Like if you want to save your results from year to year, it's going to be there. Well, so. let's quit talking and crack this thing open and get this thing tested. I'm excited. <clears throat> okay, so it does come with a prepaid... It comes with a prepaid envelope and uh, the sample kit right here has some water in it and it says do not drain this water so i'll kind of walk you guys through the whole process it has a little scoop in here but it comes with the prepaid envelope so once you buy this online on their website how much is it do you remember 34.95 and we got a 15 percent off coupon code yep. that we can share it is so we're um, gonna save you some money if you guys are interested before i forget it is hhf 15 i'll put the link down in the description you guys go there and if you guys are interested in this you can say 15 percent off and then see what your soil's lacking or maybe you you know what you're doing with your garden soil and you got it tip top but if you want to run this kit just to make sure it will definitely tell you all right so i'm going to set this down i'll give you this okay and what we're going to do guys we're going to test our raised bed so that's why i went ahead and got them tilled up we're just going to do a little uh, mix of all our raised beds now you guys know well, if you've been watching this, most of this dirt right here comes from our compost pile. And our compost pile is mainly made up of like um, straw from the goat barn, all the droppings from the goat barn. It's made up from like leaves and some grass clippings and stuff like that. And Chicken. we mix it up. Chickens are in it all the time. Uh, some of the stuff from the chicken barn so chicken poo but mostly goat poo straw is bedding and then a bunch of leaves and every year what we do is we just keep adding to these raised beds so that's pretty much what it is but um, you're only going to get so much from that you're going to get all the good bacteria and stuff in there you know that breaks all the compost down and does that stuff but there's always stuff you can do to amend your soil to make it even better so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take all this out of here i don't have a bucket or nothing so i'm just going to use this box <clears throat> think here let me so hold the camera let me take this out and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go around yeah here i'll give you this but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go around to like every bed i'm going to go just a couple different spots in it and i'm going to grab a scoop there's a nice juicy grub worm and it don't you don't have to worry about it because we're going to mix it all up you don't have to worry about keeping track of it or nothing like that because most of this dirt comes from the same place but you know year after year it kind of sets here we try to uh alternate and uh keep what we plant in each bed a little bit random we don't plant tomatoes in the same bed every year because if you know a little bit about gardening um plants if you keep planting tomatoes in the same bed year after year they're going to use up all that nutrients that they need but if you alternate sometimes plants can uh, help other plants by providing like extra nitrogen and stuff like that 
Well, and also we've had an issue with squash bugs in the past, and they told us to keep rotating the, yes, the plants. Sure. Alright, I'm not going to do all those side beds. I'm just going to do these main. Alright, so I got everything right here. Okay. Now the instructions say to mix it all up. You know, you want to mix it all up so you got a nice, you got some seeds in there. Mix it all up good. And if I was just planting like one certain thing, um, you know, you could just do one, you could actually do this for each bed. If you just wanted to specialize in tomatoes or like squash or whatever, you could do that. But we're just gonna do like a universal type thing because we don't specialize in one certain thing. We just grow what we want to eat. All right, I think I got it mixed up good. Now let's read these instructions. <clears throat> All right, so I have it registered online or nothing like that yet, but it says collect soil from five to seven separate locations. Soil should be no deeper than six inches. Um, using the provided scoop, collect one level scoop of the mixed soil and add it to the jar containing the DI water and nutrient absorbing capsule. Tightly secure lid. Do not dump water out of jar. It's super important. You've got to keep this water in this jar. Do not so, replace it with any kind of other this water. This is this is what's going to tie it back to your registration. That code right there with that label on it. So we're going to break it open. You can see it's got a seal. I said one level scoop. You don't want to spill nothing. I got some wood in there. Oh, we also have some wood wood mulch and shavings in our compost as well. All right, there you capsule. go. Capsule. Where's the capsule? It's in there already. It's in there yep. already. Okay. Yep. Tight. All right, there you go. Okay. There's your envelope. And put this in there. First class package. Straight back to Utah or where's it going? Washington. And that's that. That was easy. That's really easy. Now all we got to do is get it in the mail. Um, it says to try to get in the mail within like the next 24 hours. So tomorrow you want to mail this like by the next day and it'll get there. And then within what, seven days you said, it will actually be having your results posted online on your profile. And you can go there and check it and see what you need to do. So it's awesome. I can't wait to uh, see what we need to do because gardening um, is a passion of mine. It goes back years and years ago doing it with my grandma and stuff. It brings back a lot of memories and that's something we try to do. Not just for the sake of eating healthy and having food to store throughout winter and doing canning and fresh salsa and all, and you can go on and on, but it's in, uh, you know, whether our kids want to grow up and have gardens and if they want to live in the city and not ever mess with gardening and farming, that's fine. But I just feel like it's my job to at least include them in my passion and show them the skills that my grandparents and parents has passed down to me on gardening and if they want to use that skill when they get older then they're going to have that knowledge and say hey my dad showed me how to do this one day i'm going to use it but you know it's just all we can do if they don't want to they don't want to but plus they have the memories that's and the memories i have tons of great memories with my family doing this so enough talking about the soil kit if you guys are interested i will share the link down below um and if you guys do get the soil kit let me dump this out and show you guys one more time. The wind's crazy. If you guys do get this soil kit, I would like to hear your results. So if you guys want to share um, down in the comments below, even if this is uh, weeks or months after we post the video, if you guys will come back and share some of the results with you guys, with us that you guys get. Um, here's here's some of the stuff that I'm I'm super excited to see when we test our our uh, goat pasture is like the copper and the zinc and stuff like that because that is what goats need to stay super healthy and uh, I think it'll help out a lot. So enough talking. Remember use code HHF15 if you guys are interested and you will get 15% off. Anything over 30 bucks gets free shipping from their website. So I got Rachel something the other day that she has been asking for. This is peppermint. 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 We've never grown peppermint. And I actually got you two different kinds. I got you apple mint and peppermint. Huh. And it is stout. It smells super strong. So I'll let you figure out where you want to plant that. And then I just got some tomatoes and squash and peppers and peppers. And I got my favorite, the sun, sun sugar tomatoes. Sunshine. 
<laughs> so, what do you want to plant first? Tomatoes? Whatever you want to plant. Let's go plant these tomatoes real quick. Where, which bed do we want to plant them in this year? Um, We've always planted them over there. Let's plant them right here. Okay. They're a little taller. I don't think they're going to block too much of the, of the stuff over the sun. And ideally, you would probably want to do your test soil kit before you plant, so you can amend your soil before you plant. Right, yeah. <laughs> but, sure. but you can still amend it afterwards. Yes, you can. Um, with all the different stuff they have out now, it's super easy to mix up. You well, know what? I just forgot. What? We need to bring the worm compost bin in here. Because the chickens can't get in here, so the chickens keep drinking all the good juice, all our worm tea at the bottom of our worm bin. And we don't want that because we want to be able to water our plants with that. Because it is super, super nutrient. Um, so how are we going to do this? Let's see. This year we're going to do things a little different. We're going to space things out a lot more this yes, year. Yes, because that's, we've learned that is very, very important. You need to have lots of aeration between your plants. Yep and sometimes we we uh well you you always want to try to plant more tomatoes yeah like you're like oh i got enough room and when they're this big and then all of a sudden a month later they're four times the size they are now and they're already touching each other sometimes we get a little excited sometimes we do <laughs> and we plant more than what we should and i told kevin this year um we're not going to do that this year nope because we don't always have the time uh to do well we always we like giving a, giving a lot away we do we do give a lot away but last year we planted a lot of stuff that just like everybody was sick of by the yeah. time we <laughs> we gave enough to everybody and they're like we don't want no more yeah like zucchini and squash always usually have tons so i'll just plant like four per bed how about that Sounds good. Then we, there, then we got then we got those tomato cages. Yes. We'll put those on here too. I sure wish we could find some more of those. I haven't seen them. They're kind of expensive. They are expensive, but they are worth the investment. Yep. So, what are you planting here? What's that? Tomatoes. More tomatoes. Yep. And uh, we really like these raised beds. Cause it's a lot easier to maintain everything and keep the weeds out and then we got the water drip irrigation system and well we can still plant stuff on the sides and our soil here is so rocky very rocky. it is a huge challenge to do an in-ground garden for us yeah huge challenge I mean, I know we could do it if we th took the time. Well, we've done it in the past. It's just a lot of work and we have a lot better results being able to uh, yes. have the soil like this. We don't have to fight with the rocks because every time you hook up that tiller on the tractor, I mean, you can till through rocks, but all the rocks come up after it rains and then you got a rock bed. Yeah. All right. So there's your tomatoes. Let's get the cages real quick. Okay. There's so those. Nice. Okay. Here's the cages we're talking about. I'll let you hold on and I'll demonstrate and I have only seen these for sale one time and I bought all they had but they're foldable so you can kind of store them in the winter time they are heavy gauge too they're not flimsy and they're galvanized so they don't rust like I don't know if you can see. see after you get that opened see it just folds open like I want to show you how this hold on. super stout like how heavy of gauge of wire that is they are just super sturdy they don't bend they're awesome. If you guys know of where we can find these anywhere, tell us in the comments. Cause the only we, place I've ever been able to find them or I bought these was at Orsland. And that was years ago, right? Um, the last time I found them was three years ago. So, yeah, we love these. But I think we got, I mean, I really, I think we got enough. We do, but. We only really use them for tomatoes. It would be something awesome to share with everybody if we could find a link, you know? I just don't know if they're, uh, if shipping. Yeah. Because they're pretty heavy. They are. But they do last a long time. Yeah, they do. So we got room for a few more tomatoes. I don't have any right now. But I might pick some more up. All right, what's next? 
Mint. Oh, uh, where you want to plant the mint? This is potatoes. We already got potatoes planted, and I noticed some's coming up already. Oh boy. Kaya yeah. and Caleb helped me plant those. There's a little one. Got my plant and see, up we've right had a frost a couple times, so it's a good thing we did hold off on this stuff. Yep. And we did have a question from a subscriber. Do we go by the farmer's almanac? Nope. And I said, um, not really. We probably should. We don't, but um But in Oklahoma, you kind of have to do it when the weather is fit for that because yeah. it's like crazy weather here. Very moody mother nature. So I'll put this mint right here. How about that? Okay. Well it spreads, so I'm just mint does? Well, I'm gonna plant the cucumbers on the back side of this. Well, and I wanted actual mint. Like, I don't know if that's the the variety. I, don't know. I think I asked the people and they said mint's mint pretty much. Okay, well but I have I don't know. I had learned a little uh good information off um Stacy from Off Grid with Doug and Stacy and then the homesteading family on mint. And they actually use it everywhere. They put it in their chicken coops. They say their chickens love it. Because I like it in tea. Well, yeah, that it's good for of course a number of things, but mm -hmm. I never thought to put it in the chicken coops. Like well, what's the difference between mint and peppermint? I think it's the same thing. I don't know. I'm no pro gardener, I can tell you. You're gonna be. Alright. You do the garden, I'll do the livestock. How about that? <laughs> How about we just do both? <laughs> okay. All right, so there's that. Peppers and squash and zucchini. I hate zucchini, but I love squash and you love zucchini. You hate zucchini? I don't like it. I like both. I like both. I'm actually pretty hungry. <laughs> Talking about all this is making me want dinner. My favorite thing in the summer is just like grilling squash and zucchini or baking it. That's my favorite thing. The real trick is going to be keeping the cats out. Oh yeah. They keep getting in here and digging and doing their thing. Um. Yeah, see we put up the fence to keep our free range chicken chickens and turkeys and whatever animal we can come up with out of the garden well then we got the two cats that have decided to jump over the fence constantly and um hunt in here and just do whatever <laughs> go to the bathroom <laughs> so and they've done dug up all my uh, flower pot plants that Kaya Outside planted the in the front of the house. They dug them out. <laughs> so I don't know about them. That looks good. What's over there? Zucchini. Zucchini? Yep. And then we've got we planted stuff here with the kids. That's like lettuce and spinach and radishes. Yeah and see I didn't have any markers, so I had plastic spoons in the house. So I wrote the variety. I don't know if you can see that. I wrote whatever variety we planted on these plastic spoons and just stuck them in the ground. We'll see if that works good. I don't know. It'll work. You don't have to have anything fancy. No. We don't around here. We're not fancy farmers, are we? Nope. It's supposed to rain all week, so we're getting this done at the right time. And whenever I was tilling this, I felt bad. These beds were full of these giant worms. But that's a good thing. I don't like hurting them. But those worms, if you see them in there, don't get rid of them because they actually aerate your soil and they give you your soil some nutrients. They're very oh, beneficial. Very. All right, let's do these peppers. You know what? I'm going to do the peppers in a different spot. I've got cayenne and tame jalapenos. They didn't get hot. Tame jalapenos? Yes. What's up with that? They didn't have hot. Who wants a tame jalapeno? <sighs> I guess a lot of people. 
I like the I like the, the last heat. few years that we grew jalapenos. I'm not gonna lie, they were so hot. Like they were so hot, we couldn't hardly eat them. Like, and I like I love hot stuff, but these were super, super hot. Uh, me and Kai may like the hot. I like the hot, but I like to be able to eat them. <laughs> and they were super hot. Mm. So I'm gonna plant these um four and then like two by two, and we're gonna have two different kinds. Plant the hot on one end. Well, one's jalapeno and one's cayenne. You know what I mean? Ah. Uh, yeah, gotcha. I still have my brain on jalapeno. I don't even think I heard you say cayenne. Well, we usually plant habanero too, but. We haven't used them the last several years. No. Because. We, <laughs> a little bit goes a long way. And uh, when we grow the hot peppers that you can't just eat tons of, we hate wasting them. So what we did is dehydrated them and made like a pepper, like a powdery, whatever you call it. Um, you call that? Crushed, like crushed pepper out of it. Yeah. Dehydrated though. And we use that like when we make chili and different things. One time Actually, I accidentally put it in cornbread. <laughs> accidentally put a little too much. Um, I thought it was the jalapenos that we had ground up. No. And it was the habanero. And what other pepper was it? Uh, like the scorpion. Super, scorpion pepper. And I put a generous amount and put it in this cornbread. Couldn't eat it. So, it. needless to say, when I did that, <laughs> you know, I'm like, I don't care. I'm going to eat it. I ate one piece of cornbread and I was beet red and pouring sweat Sweating. and had tears in my eyes but i ate that piece of cornbread because i wasn't gonna waste it <laughs> i didn't eat it ain't gonna lie the kids were like dying <laughs> oh, i'll never forget that that was a while back yep that was funny That's so weird yeah i i don't do that anymore <laughs> not that much Looks good, Farmer Kevin. One more. And we still have room. We'll let these grow a little bit and then we might add some more later. Maybe some other plants or something. I'm but so excited to try the soil kit. Yeah, I am too. Because it should help out a lot. I'm just curious to know what's not in our soil and what's in our soil. and. Yeah, and every... Every place is different region by region. Um, you know, what part of the country you live in, you might have too much of something and there's things you can do for that too. But these lab results are gonna be the real deal. Like a real science lab will be testing this and it's gonna tell you exactly like all your levels of your nutrients and minerals, all that cool stuff. And give you product links to get the products to actually fix it. For sure. <laughs> That's the best part to me. Yep. Like, it's just like a no brainer. Those look good. All right. Good job. Just let the rain do its job now. Yeah, it's kind of looking like it might rain. I know, the clouds are moving in. Yeah. It's windy. All right, so got to get this in the mail tomorrow. And uh, let me see this. Hopefully those cats leave our stuff alone. Hmm. So anyways, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. Like Rachel said, we're excited to try this um, soil test kit out from Redmond. We learned a lot about all the benefits that their salt does and all their other products. And this was one of the most exciting things that uh, I think we learned about was the soil test kit because it could it yeah. could drastically change the outcome of how well your garden does, how well your crops do, how well your hay fields or meadows do. It could, it could change a lot. And for the price, that is not bad, especially since it has a uh, free return shipping when you send your kit in. Yeah, it's it's going to be well worth the money. I mean, thirty four ninety five plus with our code, you get a fifteen percent discount. HHF fifteen, and the link will be down yeah. in the description. So, if you're not subscribed, we we'll ask you guys to subscribe. Stay tuned because we will share our test results. Yes. As soon as we get them, we'll get online and kind of show you guys. We'll maybe print something off. We'll kind of go over it, and then we'll uh, try to amend our raised garden beds 
and then later on when we get those additional tests we'll test our actual pasture soil and see well about that th right now we're planting farming. our summer garden but then after our, our summer garden we plant our fall crops right so we do have time to amend it. We could amend it now if we want. Oh yeah. Uh, but we will definitely have time to amend it when it comes time to planting for fall. All right. So anyways, like this video, um, leave us a comment down below. Even if this is months from when we posted it, we want to know if you guys tried the soil test kit, if you're willing to try it or you're going to try it, if you're planning on it, let us know. Cause we want to hear other people's results and your feedback. Yeah. So anyways, we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.